before I know that you've even gone to win my war. You come back with a head of my enemy. You come back and you call it my victory.
Rita, it's good to see you. Thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited to talk about this song with you. Mm. <laughs> it's been such an incredible song personally, um, but I've seen what it's done yeah. uh, in church and in ministry. Talk about this a little bit and just the idea. We were just chatting a little bit of just that group of songs that you wrote around the Battles record, having this theme of God going before you yeah. and fighting for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I was in a season of writing um, about that whole idea of of um, just the battleground that we face and um, and God basically defending us and coming at it from a different angle than I'd ever come at um, the fight before. And it was one of those songs that um, I, I'm very specific about when I make a record, very specific about how I write, wanting the Lord to tell me what it is he's trying to say and thematically trying to catch a theme. and. And so even with the writers um, asking the Lord who to write with, and, and JP, John Paul Gentile, um, who um, was up with Bethel for a while, um, I flew him in to Dallas at the time and just wanted to write with him. And um, he really had, I think we'd written for a couple of days, and then he just said, hey, um, here's something that, that I have had. And it's really beautiful when you're writing with somebody and what you're going through and what they're going through um, are different battles or different mm -hmm. fights, but the victory needed is kind of the same kind of victory. And um, when he kind of started singing, um, you go, yeah, yeah, you go. It was a different kind of melody a little mm -hmm. bit then. And I was like, there's something on that. There's something on that. And, and we chased it. It took a while to actually um, get the song fully complete. Um, but yeah, when, when we got it, it just was like, there's something special in this. In fact, I, I will say that um, it, we, I didn't have the lyrics complete until almost the day before we recorded it live in Dallas. And um, the, the guy that was helping us uh, in the publishing department there said, hey, you know, because that song's really not fully there yet, why don't we just pull it off the record? Mm -hmm. and, and I felt the Holy Spirit say, you pull that song off the record, you pull the record. Wow. And I was like, we're not supposed to pull this song off the record. So I just sat down and finished all the lyrics. And, and then when we recorded it, there was something that you knew hit people. And it was one of those marinating songs, right? Because yeah. it had some, some powerful stuff in it that I think people needed to be, hmm, <laughs> you can say that? Yeah. You can talk about <laughs> the head of your enemy? Um, and so it was really beautiful how Franny kind of took it and took it to a place that um, it, it, it could go only with Franny or, um, you know, Jesus culture took it. And yeah, it's, it's been a really beautiful surprise wow. um, because the song was so knitted deep in my heart, especially that bridge, you know, when I thought I lost me. I mean, who doesn't ever feel like that sometimes? It's so powerful. And to be able to be on, that honest and say it and have people actually be like, yeah, that's me too. Um, it's always a risk as a writer when you say the mm -hmm. things that are really raw and that you feel and have somebody else say, yeah, me too. Wow. It, it just solidifies what it is that you're trying to do. So. Wow. I love songs that open up an opportunity to teach. Yes. And this is one of those songs, you know, I think about, you know, the, the Battle of Jericho and 
what was happening there. And, you know, it's an opportunity to, to teach your church, you know, it's like, you know, why were the worship the musicians, why were they out in front of the army? Yeah. You know, it's because that, that war was yeah. not won through spears and swords. It was war won through praise. Yeah. And man, what a great example for us and, you know, our striving, trying to make it happen. But as the song says, all I did was yeah. praise. And yeah, the simplicity of it. Yeah. yeah so beautiful. beautiful. Danny, walk us through what key are you in and, and show us what chords you're playing. Yeah. So in this song, we're in the key of G. And we'll jump into the chorus there. It starts on that five in natural number system style. Well, five, six, and then four. It kind of repeats that. Five, six, four. And jumping over to that bridge, it goes into that uh, three chord. And then to the four. To the five. To the five. Da, da, to the four. And those two sections kind of play out like that. Awesome. Rita, thank you so much You're for talking so about welcome. this song. So thankful that we have this song. Yeah. And I